So we've just finished building this crazy PC for Mitch. We just shot a video. I thought I'd bring the PC in here, plug it in and show you how to control the RGB because the idea of controlling the RGB is pretty much the same on every PC. This one has an ASUS motherboard. So we're going to use ASUS Armory Crate. If you have a Gigabyte motherboard, it's going to be RGB Fusion. For MSI, it's MSI Center. And uh, this one also has an NZXT Kraken liquid cooler and it's got the LCD display. So you can control the cooler using the NZXT Cam. So MZXT Cam is a really cool piece of software for you to use even if you don't have anything by NZXT because you can check your CPU and GPU temperatures on there. So at the minute, this PC is idling around about 20 to 21 degrees. You can see it on the cooler just here. So I've got NZXT Cam up here. You can control the LCD screen by going into lighting and then click the LCD display and you've got these options here. You can you know, change what it shows, CPU temperature, etc. That's, um, this NZXT Cam software is probably best left for another video, but you can control the LCD screen using the software here. Same idea as using Armory Crate. So, like I said, this, this PC has an ASUS motherboard. So that would mean ASUS Armory Crate is used for the RGB. If I press the Windows key and open the search bar, if I type in Armory, you go to Armory Crate, this will load and we're on Aura Sync, which is just on the left hand side here. And these are the three devices that the PC can pick up and control the RGB of. So we have the ROG Strix Z690A Gaming Wi-Fi D4 motherboard, which is the motherboard itself, and it has RGB just here. So you can control that, so I've left that ticked. The memory is the G-Skill RAM we have here. You can control the RGB of that. And the addressable LED strip refers to anything that's plugged into the motherboard through the ARGB header. So addressable means that you can see more than one color per fan, for example. So ARGB REM means you can get that rainbow effect where you have multiple colors running through. If it's just normal RGB, you can only have one color on the item per, um, per time. So these fans being ARGB plugged into the ARGB header, we can see addressable LED strips. So if I go to Aura Effects with all of these ticked, you can change the color of everything. So Every RGB software is different, but this one for ASUS Armory Crate, we have these options here. So static is just a single color. Right now, obviously we've got white. So if I go to color and change it to red, for example, everything inside the PC turns red. Same thing as, you know, there's light blue, blue, green. You just change the color on here. Now, if I cancel that, we go back to white. You can do, for example, the rainbow color. And this is a great example of ARGB. So you can see that per fan, you have multiple colors in the one fan. So these are the AL120 Lian Li fans. So you do get a little bit of RGB just on the edges, but you also get RGB on the middle of the fan too. So you can see, for example, like right now it's light blue, but the middle is like green or yellow. That's what our ARGB is. Now, if you go to color cycle instead, that's more like the traditional RGB. It's not ARGB. So color cycle, you can see that at any one point in time, any of these devices only have one color in them. So that's RGB. That's the difference between ARGB and RGB. The A stands for addressable. So that's a really good example of RGB. And obviously there's plenty of other options. Starry night, for example, we got breathing. Most people like the static or the rainbow. So I thought that would be a quick explanation for you on how ARGB works, what it means, what you can expect. Um, all of the apps run pretty much the same. MSI Center and RGB Fusion are two of the most popular as well. They're gonna work in the exact same way. Every app has its own settings. They don't all do the same thing, but search your PC for the software, click it, and then you can change whatever you like on there.